great religious figures transform society as much by who they are as by what they say. And it would be idle to attribute Ghazali's influence simply to the brilliance and clarity of the books that he left behind him. He was revered, it's very clear, as uh, somebody who lived the reality of Islam, as somebody who was well on his way to being a saint. He is somebody who wants to understand everything. He has an insatiable appetite for knowledge. He talks about desiring uh, to get to the root uh, of problems. At the time of Imam al-Ghazali, confusion was reigning. Confusion was, was everywhere. And these religious fanatics begin to kill those who they deem as obstacles in their path. He came to a realization that all of this intellectual knowledge was in fact a very, very well camouflaged ignorance. He had to get out. He had to try and find an answer to his crisis in his heart. He is really at that point where he realizes, I am mortal, I'm going to die. Have I prepared for this journey? And, and this is the, the only real crisis that has any meaning for a human being. So he had the truly existential crises of the human condition, which is our mortality.